Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to connect a Sony camera to the virtual production service. The actual menu screens may vary between the different cameras, but the basic process is the same. In this tutorial, we're going to use the PXW Z280. Okay, so we can select the menu button on the camera to access the main menu, and we can scroll down to the system menu. And the first thing we need to do is to make sure that the clock is set correctly. So if we move down to clock set, select that, um, we can go in and change the time zone, the date mode. You need to ensure that it's in 24 hour mode for the clock, and then we can enter the date and the current time. It's important to get the time and date set correctly for connectivity with the virtual production service. So once you've configured the, the time and date on the camera, we can go back and we can move to the recording format. So if we select recording format, the settings need to be set up so that you have the frequency set to 50, the file system XFAT, codec XABCL, and the video format is 1920 1080p 50. Once that's been set, we can go back and we need to move back again because we need to access the video settings on the camera. So we select that and the output on or off is what we're interested in. So we need to click on that. And then we need to make sure that at least two of these three options are disabled. Once that's done, we can go back to the main menu. Okay, now that we've configured the general settings on the camera, we need to decide how we want to connect the camera to the internet. That could be either a wired connection, a wireless connection, or maybe even a 4G connection. Okay, so now we're going to connect the camera to the wired LAN. So we select menu and we select network. And then we can scroll down to where it says wired LAN and select that. And on the setting, we select that and change it from off to on. And then we need to reselect that wired LAN option. And then we can go into the detail settings. In here, we can make sure that DHCP is set to on and the DNS auto is set to on. And then we can scroll down until we reach the set button. And we can click on the set button. At that point, the camera will try to connect to the wired LAN, pick up an IP address. If we exit the menu, we should see on the screen that the wired LAN network connection icon is lit up. So now that we've got the camera configured and connected to the internet, we need to go and make a note of some of the settings in virtual production that we then need to input into the camera. So if we go to the event manager, um, we're gonna use camera one. So we change the type to be QoS because this is a Sony camera. Um, and these are the settings, the network client mode settings that we need to make a note of. So there's a CCM address, the username and the password. So we'll make a note of those three settings and then we have to go and take those and configure them in the camera. Okay, now that we've got the settings from the virtual production service, we can go and configure the network client mode settings on the camera and then we can select the network option and then scroll down to where it says network client mode. So we select that um, and we can go to any of the three settings. So the, the cameras generally give you three um, presets that you can use. So in this example, we're just going to use NCM settings one. So we can select that and we can give it any display name that we want, just something that meaningful so we can understand what that preset is. And then in the CCM address, that's where we need to configure the information, the first piece of information that we received from the virtual production switcher. So that should be something such as qa.vplive.net. That doesn't generally change. The CCM port should be set to 8443. And then we need to configure the username and the password. And these are the two details that ensure that this particular camera streams to your particular event and to the particular input that you've chosen on your event. So we can go into the username 
and then enter the username using the screen provided. Once we've entered the username, we can select done, scroll down, select password, and follow exactly the same process for the password. And when we've done that, we can hit done. All other settings can be left as they are. We move down and we can select set. So that's configured a preset. So then we need to just move up to the currently selected preset. So that's the NCM settings select option. So if we move up and then we can choose any of the three presets that we've got configured. So I'm gonna select the one that we've just configured. And then the final step is to go up to the setting and switch the NCM from off to on. And if we just exit that menu, we should be able to see on the screen that there is a, an NCM icon that's currently gray, but as the camera tries to connect and gets a connection to the virtual production service, that NCM should change from a gray color to, to a white color, as you can now see. So at this point, we can go back to the switcher and see that it's connected within the switcher. Okay, now that we've finished configuring the network client mode settings on the camera, we can come back to virtual production. So still on the event manager page, you can see camera one, you can see the connection is good. And if we go and join the event, you can see camera one here with the incoming stream. And then we can select that on the preview channel and do a cut. And now we have our camera streaming live to Facebook or YouTube. Connecting your camera to the virtual production service is as easy as that. Thanks for watching.